And we're back. Our next comedian just released a CD entitled Home Perm. Here's Andy Smith. Okay, all right. I realized that that was a drastic sort of change. It went from her to like the whitest grill you've ever seen in your lives. But let's just try to play along, shall we? I realize that. This is as tan as I get, by the way. This is it. I look like a cross between Conan O'Brien and a gallon of milk. <laughs> Naked, I look like a newborn hamster. I swear to God. I swear to God. Yeah, it's funnier if you don't picture it, <laughs> by the way. It's funnier. <laughs> I hate being pale if it makes you feel any better. I hate being pale. I do. I can't stand it. Like, if I ever do have kids, I'm going to have to wrap them in tinfoil just so they can go to school in the morning. I'm going to have to marry a black guy just so my kids can catch up. <laughs> what? It's not like I can marry an Irish guy, have a bunch of pink kids running around. That would suck. <laughs> Just sitting around all day like, hey, stay away from that light bulb, snowflake. You don't have your sunscreen on. <laughs> That's a hundred water. <laughs> hmm. Speaking of being really wet, I just got back from Alaska. Yeah, I was in Fairbanks, Alaska. It was awesome. Everybody was drunk and happy and kind of fat, and I f loved it there. It was awesome. I'm going to move there. And the first night I was there, uh, they, I went to the bar to kind of drink off the trip, and there was these guys there, and they were like, hey, do you want to come to our hotel room and have some Alaskan king crab? <laughs> and I was like, huh. That's either the best pickup line I've ever heard, or I'm really getting free Alaskan king crab. Right? Actually, my friend called me the other day. He told me that in Larry Flynn's autobiography, he admits to having sex with a chicken at age nine. I know. I was like, oh, my God. You read Larry Flynn's autobiography? <laughs> well, at least you're reading. <laughs> I read something, though. I read this in the news today. I read this. I read that girls with breast implants have a much higher rate of suicide. Yeah, I don't have a joke for that yet. That's just really good news. <laughs> <laughs> Thought I would share it with the group. <laughs> yeah, well, you hear a lot of bad shit. It's nice to hear something good every once in a while. I have to go home and visit my parents pretty soon in Wisconsin. I don't really like going home and visiting them. My parents recently decided to take in uh, seven foster children. <laughs> yeah, holy <laughs> Foster kids. Yeah, those are like rental kids, okay? And just like anything else you rent, somebody had it before you and fucked it up a little. <laughs> I don't care, they're crazy, they're all crazy. Each one of them, they all come with their own little set of instructions. It's like a sheet full of weird shit they do. And one of them, his name's Byron, and one of the things Byron likes to do is he likes to try to suffocate himself with plastic bags. <laughs> mm, mm. Yeah, that still makes me laugh. <sighs> and I felt sorry for him for a little while. Right? So I had to babysit him for like six hours. About hour three, I'm like, dude, here's a Ziploc. <laughs> Yellow and blue make green. <laughs> yeah, I think mom's got an empty Walgreens bag upstairs. You got to hold it tight. You're doing it wrong. <laughs> what? I'm an only child. I don't like other people in my house. They were kind of cute, though. They were kind of cute. Like, one morning, I came downstairs, and they were making, like, a house out of cardboard boxes. And I was like, oh, that's cute. They're homesick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut up. You babysit them then. You do it. You like them so much. I'm sure Nance would love to have you. Hope you like tuna noodle casserole, because it's all she ever 
next. <laughs> My mom's with you guys. She loves every single one of them. She loves every single one of them. Every time I go up there, she just points at him. She's like, oh, my God, Andy, isn't he adorable? I'm like, Mom, he's missing an ear, and he's been playing with himself the entire time I've been here. <laughs> She's just like, we don't talk about that. <laughs> I'm just like, really? Right? Even if he's winking at me? Maybe we should put him on Match.com or something. <laughs> Give him something to do with his day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of other people's children, you know. Yeah. Like, I'm sure if I had one, I'd keep it or whatever, but <laughs> I'm not a big fan. I saw the best billboard ever the other day. Uh, it was for Planned Parenthood, okay? Had a big picture of a pregnant teen on there. She's in a jogging suit, I don't know why. Anyway, <laughs> big picture of a pregnant teen. And on one side, it said, are you pregnant? And then on the other side, it said, you're not alone. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna be alone for a long, long time. Yeah, maybe some alone time might have done us some good. <laughs> yeah, apparently your vagina is not very lonely. The site of andysmith.com was taken, so she came up with this one. Visit andysmith at snowflakehead.com. Sounds intriguing. Coming up next, the Sierra Miss Local Comedian of the Week, Patsy B.